Hello. I'd like to give you some feedback about Chapter 14, Leading and Leadership Development, The True Story, Leadership Power Activity. A number of you mentioned empathy, the ability to show empathy and keep the lines of communication open have been the keys to my coaching style, to quote one of our colleagues in the class. Empathy, the ability to put yourself in another person's shoes and understand their point of view, to see the world through their individual glasses, is critical as a manager. There were, were several on the issue of gift cards. Uh, we in Shell used gift cards. It should be no surprise they were gas gift cards. But I wonder, do you give gift cards to someone because they came on time? Isn't that part of their job responsibility? Now, in my world, if an individual kept coming late, there would be a conversation. And if they continue coming late, the conversation would go into the termination process through HR. Another individual has pointed out that their manager comes late and that the people that report to them come late. Well, the manager's manager should be tapping her or him on the shoulder and having a conversation around monkey see, monkey do, and you are harming the organization. Change your ways. I don't know why some managers feel uncomfortable talking about the negative. Because after all, you don't know what you don't know. And you only find out what you don't know is by meeting other people or hearing direct, honest feedback. The delegation of leadership. Yes. Have you met a leader that simply can't delegate the work, that simply feels they have to do it for you, or that tells you how to do everything as a micromanager? Are they a person you enjoy working with? Well, those are rhetorical questions because I don't think any of us want to work with a micromanager or a leader that sticks their nose in everything we do. I've always kind of felt that as a manager, both in the State Department and Shell, people saw the vision, saw the plan, and generally I said, hop to it. It's all yours now. You own it. I'd like to read to you directly from one of our classmates. I believe that the ability to show emotional intelligence is a great aspect of a great leader. The company in which I currently work for is headed by a man who has little to no emotional intelligence. As I have learned, it takes a special kind of person to be able to work for him, one that can turn on and off their emotions. Due to this fact, employee turnover is fairly high, and when he's around, People come to work, they work, and then they rush to get out of work. Well, emotional intelligence, the ability to understand the emotions of others, and don't forget the ability to understand your own emotions and how they impact your decisions is a critical feature of leadership. EI, emotional intelligence. Well, I hope these reflections on your work have given you some more insights.